Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven here, and today I'm doing another theory video because a lot of you guys have been asking me what I think will happen in episode 100 of season 2 of Minecraft Diaries. Seeing as, as of right now as I'm recording this at 11.17 at night, we are only a few hours away from the episode being aired. And I will say that I do have quite a few predictions as to what I think will happen. Number one, Athma will find out if she is Irene or her reincarnation or her daughter or descendant or something like that. Episode 99 ends with Hyria telling Aphma and her friends that they will learn the truth about Irene, which leads me to believe that we will finally know what really happened to Irene and with the Divine Warriors and everything. And even if I'm wrong about some things, I don't believe that I was wrong about everything. So I'm definitely lo looking forward to see if any of my theories are actually correct. Number two, Lawrence betrays Aphma. I've had a feeling that this was coming for a long time. In fact, my brother and I, and yes, my brother watches Minecraft Diaries as well, actually thought that Lawrence's betrayal was going to occur last season. But instead, we were very unpleasantly surprised. A quick disclaimer, it's not that I want Lawrence to betray Avmel. I absolutely love Lawrence. Not nearly as much as I love Garth, but I really do love Lawrence's character. But I just have this irking feeling that he will turn on Aphmau. Think about it. This season and last season have had several parallels. The two weddings occurring on the same episodes. Episode 81 for both seasons having to do something with Garth. The fact that um, the 100th episodes for both seasons will have revealed something huge about Irene. And there are more, I'm sure, but these were the first scenarios that came to mind. So i like to point out that Lawrence's behavior these past few episodes are incredibly similar to when Garth betrayed Aphmau. And I'd also like to bring up something that I said in a previous episode of Talking Diaries, where I stated how I believe that Garth and Lawrence's scenarios are parallels. For example, how the betrayals are prompted. Garth was prompted to side with Zane because he felt betrayed after seeing that illusion of Aphmau and Lawrence kissing. As for Lawrence, he might have felt the urge to betray Aphmau after learning of her pregnancy. Garth's decision to betray Aphmau was heavily influenced by Lillian and Zane, and it's possible that Sasha may have been influencing Lawrence to a certain extent, and maybe even the Shadow Lord as well. Finally, both betrayals would have accord accord Raven, you really need to learn how to speak English occurred around the time of war. Garth's was after the Phoenix War. Lawrence's would be around the time of the war with Tula or the rise of the Shadow Lord, which I will talk about later. For now, I want to talk more about what I think is going on in Lawrence's head right now. Number three, Lawrence's perfect world. Allow for me to elaborate. Since the moment they met back in Mattelli in season one, Lawrence has been in love with Aphmau. No one can deny that. He's confessed his love for her multiple times throughout the series. But in this season particularly, I think Lawrence's love for Aphmau is deeper than we know. And I don't mean that in a good way. And I'm not just saying that because I ship Garmel. Throughout this season, we've seen Lawrence threaten other guys for being near Aphmau, telling her that he doesn't like her being affectionate around other men, and even slaughter numerous werewolves because the very thought of Aphmau having to marry Fenner was too much for him to bear. But something about Lawrence's dialogue in episode 20 of season 2 actually really disturbed me. As Aphmau was trying to convince Lawrence not to kill Fenner, he said, I will kill him and everyone who tries to hurt you. Some may call this quote Lormau fan edits material. I call it Lawrence is going to kill us all. I think that Lawrence's corrupted state of mind has built itself around the idea that Aphmau solely belongs to him. Think about it. As the season has progressed, Lawrence has become more and more absorbed into the mindset that Aphmau cannot be associated with any other men other than himself. And I think that the reason that when Vlad said that he wasn't completely understanding what Lawrence was going through 
in these past few episodes is because of his love for Aphmau. His Shadow Knight mentality is being affected in a way that is different from any other Shadow, Shadow Knight. Lawrence wants this perfect little world where it's just him and Aphmau, and if he can't have that, yeah. The next few predictions are just a few other small ideas of what I think is going to happen in episode 100 that I'm not going to go on a full explanation of. Number four, Tula is going to go on a full-on invasion of Ruan. Number five, Xenix will resurrect the Shadow Lord, unleashing his wrath on the overworld. And number six, since we haven't heard from them in a long time, we will see the return of Fenner and the Southern Werewolf Monarchy. So, these were just my theories for what I think is going to happen in episode 100 of season 2 for Minecraft Diaries. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below, if you agree with me, if you think the complete opposite, whatever. I really look forward to hearing from you guys. And note that I will upload the rest of my Q&A, every single part of the rest of it that I've been working on for the past few days. They will be uploaded tomorrow as well. So, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow, or maybe in the next day, because it might be midnight by the time I upload this, I don't know. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.